been around for thousands and thousands of years. Probably since the caveman times. And women. Caveman, cave women, okay. We're talking about music. And there, if there's one subject in our lives that everybody, usually everybody, has a part of, it's music. What kind do you like? How long do you listen to music? Do you collect music? Pretty much everybody that lives today has heard music and likes music. Although, there are certain people who do not like music and do not listen to music. Did, did, have you ever known anybody like that? My grandfather was like that. Get in the car, there would always be an AM radio with a talk show, or a baseball game, anything but music. Never heard the man play music in my life. And 3 to 5% of the world's population has this, they're calling it a condition. I don't know, some people just don't like music. Uh, I never heard my grandmother play music when he was home. But she had a lot of albums and, and things like that. Uh, they, got a, they got a medical term for it. Um, I, I couldn't imagine, you know, not liking music. But he would, but he would drive when he was driving. He would hum or sing songs from like he used to call them war pictures. He was a World War II vet, so he used to sing bridge or whistle bridge over the river Kwai. Uh, he would sing some of them old fuddy duddy songs from like the 30s and 40s. But never played any music. Never talked about music. Um, none of that. So I always found that strange, but then I just kind of Googled that, and there they have uh, music ad hornea or something like that, some medical term. Um, man, I can imagine, you know, if I'm cleaning or working on something, I always put music on, helps me get into the groove and fires me up to get things going. I couldn't imagine not listening to music. And I listen to all different kinds. I mean, am I, I can listen to music from all the genres, except for rap, that is not music. That is a bunch of hate-filled screaming. But other than that, I like blues. I like rock. I like heavy metal. As long as it ain't too heavy. I don't like that screaming heavy metal stuff. That, oh, oh they're talking. I can't stomach that. Uh, I like 50s music, 60s music, 40s music. Uh, it's probably where I'm going to draw the line. I don't go back too far. But music's been around. I'm going to think that my ancestor, my, one of my distant relatives, invented music. And I'm going to tell you how it went down. You know, I, 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 think I'm, I think I've got this figured out. Back when Caveman was just playing around, just, just learning how to, what fire was. Okay, my great, 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 great times 50, 100, 1,000 grandfather. Well, he's after this. This guy's rubbing the sticks together, you know, or a lightning bolt come down. He's trying to carry the fire. You know, he found he found a burning ember, and he's trying to carry it, and he's going, ooh, ooh, ooh ah, 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 ooh, ooh. And, you know, my distant grandfather, being like me, he's got to make fun of that situation. So he started going, ooh, 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 ah, 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 ooh, ooh, ooh. And there you have the first hit song, ooh, 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 ah, ah, ah. Wrote, wrote by my grandfather by a thousand. That's just how I'm thinking. Some people say it came down from heaven. And you know, in the Bible it always talks about singing in heaven and music. I haven't heard anything about hell. I don't think there's any music down there in hell. And if there is, it's probably rap in that screaming uh, heavy metal. I don't remember what, I don't know what they call that kind of music. It's not heavy metal, but it's awful. Uh, I've heard some of that music. Man, it's like devil music. That's what my mom would call it. That's music. That's devil music. But it's if you if you pay attention 
to like most of the songs on the radio, it's all about love songs. 95% of it is love songs. I like the ones that ain't about all that, you know? Like, yeah, like some ACDC, man. ZZ Top, good songs. Just got paid today. Got me a pocket full of change. That's music. I want to hear no mushy love music. The guy lost his girl. Now he's crying. But what do you like to listen to? You know, I gotta have. I gotta. I got moods for different things. Uh, I like some some fast beat rock and roll if I'm out working, or I may just want to hear some Johnny Cash. I gotta watch how I say that because you know who will hear. And, and try to play it. Can't say her name. It ain't Rooster. Anyway, couldn't think of any, any subject this morning and was listening to the radio. I said, hey, what about music? So they have evidence going back 4,000 years. They found some uh, Egyptian glyphs or whatever where they have a harp. So they've had musical instruments for thousands of years. They used to use bone, make flutes, things like that. Native, Native Americans have had music for thousands of years. So music goes back in almost every, in every culture, not almost, in every culture. And, you know, it's been used for so many things. But you can imagine probably in the 1800s, before electricity actually, uh, or before the, you know, they had the crank record machines, before that, you really, if you wanted to hear music, you had to make it yourself, or you had to sing, your, one of your relatives would have to sing, play an instrument, you couldn't just turn on the radio at will and hear music. So that, that, that had to suck, you know, but... It also probably created a lot of songs that way. You know, people, I know the people out working in the fields would sing, you know, you got to do something to pass time. And that's where music comes in. Couldn't imagine being one of them people that just don't like music. I, I don't understand how that, <laughs> that would be a pretty quiet, boring life if you ask me. Especially if you're driving on a trip, man, you got to have some music. And before, you know, Bluetooth and all that, what we have today, man, if you took, I'd take so many cross-country trips, but you'd make, you had to make sure you had cassettes or whatever the, you know, CDs, because you would go through these towns and you're not picking up radio stations. You could go a stretch of highway, pick up no music. I remember driving through the whole night. I'd have to put on the talk shows because you couldn't get in a, a station to play any kind of music. Or depending on, you, uh, on where you were in the country, the type of music they were playing wasn't something you liked. So, I, 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 and I'm, I think being all, living all over the United States kind of influenced my music uh, likes because I've heard all different kinds. Uh, so I think traveling has a lot to do with it. You hear different cultures, music, and you get used to that. When I lived in Denver, uh, we would we would all the pressmen from the Denver Post. We would all go to a tavern after work, right by the paper, which was primarily uh, Hispanic, and that was all that you would hear out of the jukebox was the Mexican music. We used to call it carnival music. But man, you get to the point when you hear that all, all the time. You get to the point where you almost learn all the words to it. You don't even know the language. So music is probably a good teaching skill for, you know, learning a new language. I don't know. But I don't know. Let me know what you think. What What's your favorite kind of music? Um, I've listened to it all, man. Just like I said, the only thing I can't tolerate is that rap and that real crazy devil rock. You've heard that stuff or you may not have. I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you tomorrow. Happy trails.